I'm Tom DeVito. This, as you all know, is Christina Pistone. And Christina wants me to uh, say a few words about emotional eating or our responses to uh, messing up with the diet. Isn't that right, Christina? Yes, that's right. And another thing Christina wants me to do is offer perhaps a different perspective when uh, we're faced with either eating emotionally and choosing to beat ourselves up because we've, we're weak and ate emotionally or we went off our diet and beat ourselves up for that reason as well. Isn't that right, Christina? <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, so what I'd like to say about this, and I have to do this in, at this point, we're down to four uh, minutes, so um, I have to get this information out before the timer goes off, so this will be fun. So here's the deal. Um, we're human beings and we have emotions. And sometimes uh, people, uh, when they get emotional, will not eat. Um, I'm not one of those people. In fact, sadness, happiness, anger, depression, it doesn't matter what it is, whatever it occurs, however it occurs in me, I go for food. A lot of people do. So when you go for the food, <clears throat> because you're emotionally distraught, you can consider the emotional state being a problem, right? Now, eat a bunch of food to soothe that and then start to beat ourselves up for it, now we have two problems, right? Or three if you want to view maybe the food as, as an issue, but the food is there to soothe. So if we make wise choices, then the eating is no longer an issue at all. But the, it's the beating, of, beating up of ourselves that really is the problem, right? So when we beat ourselves up, we now have really major, major issues going on here because we have the harm that the emotions due to the body, the acidity that they bring in, the mucus that gets caused, and then we have the further acidity created by the anger and the frustration because I'm beating myself up about what I did. So how about this for an idea? Instead of beating myself up because I went off my diet or because I ate emotionally, why not collect data or data? Which do you prefer? Data. Data it is. So, so if if I'm eating something and it makes me feel a certain way and I go, oh, what an idiot I am. Why did I choose that? I should have had that instead. That doesn't serve anyone. It just creates more negativity and, and it probably stems back to some deep childhood thing that will always be there anyway. So in that moment, rather than choose to beat myself up, I decided one day, let me just take the information that comes with this. Take the data, data, data. that comes with this because this is how I'm going to steer the boat better. Right? So I eat this, it makes me feel poorly, I collect the data, and then maybe I don't make that choice again. So in the same way I'm teaching myself as I was going along with all this, I t taught myself how to, what worked and what didn't work, I used that same exact way of thinking around emotional eating or around beating myself, for, beating myself up for not eating as well as I'd like to be eating or not being where I'd like to be. And guess what, folks? You could only be where you are, right? I mean. Wherever you are physically, that's where you are. Wherever you are mentally, that's where you are. And wherever you are with the diet, that's where you are. The only wrong in where you are is the wrong you're making yourself. And there's no need for it. You are where you are. It's perfect. You get a pair of sneakers, you don't join the marathon. You learn how to run first. You join a couple of smaller races, you build yourself up to the marathon. Collecting data. When I didn't stretch, this happened. When I did stretch, that happened. That's all that matters. And the data is neither good nor bad. Right? Like in the computer, binary code is zeros and ones. Zeros aren't better than ones. They're just the offs and the ones are the ons. And that's it. Neither one is good or bad. They both coexist and must coexist in order for it to be real, for a computer to work. So the same thing is true with the data. Ate this, felt like crap, won't eat that again. Or will know not to eat it at this time of the day or whatever. It's about data. It's about collecting the information and building your arsenal and making yourself better, stronger, and uh, able to make choices <clears throat> from an educated, experienced place, right? Because if, we're, if, if I have the information, I can make better choices. If I just choose to say, what an idiot I am, I ate that stupid rice cake, I shouldn't have had the rice cake, I should have had the salad first. Well, instead of wasting all that time and energy and causing more acidity, mucus, and problems in the body, why not just embrace what happened, accept it, not beat ourselves up, and then use that data to make better choices down the road. That makes sense to me. And was, I have 11 seconds. That was great. Awesome. Damn. <laughs> We're good. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> that was good.